Nicole Harper with Creating Keepsakes Magazine and in this segment I want to show you two new ways to use corrugated cardboard on your layouts. Lots of companies are coming out with these products and it's a fun way to add some dimension to your pages and it's really trendy right now. So let's take a look. In this first example we're using pre-cut shapes from Jelly Bean Soup shaped like flowers. Here underneath on this bottom piece, the larger one, you can see that they just used it as it came right out of the box. But then you can also even add like a little bit of paint and some twine in between in the grooves just to spruce them up a little bit. Because they're so thin, they kind of make it easy to layer on top of one another to make a fun kind of flower. If you can't find the shape that you need, don't worry, you can always make your own. Let me show you how. If you start with a piece of cardboard box from something you might have wanted to throw away, and all we're gonna do is start to tear up this corner. And that's okay if it doesn't tear all the way. All you have to do is grab again and just keep ripping. And once you do that, you'll end up with a piece like this. Then you can make any shape that you like. Here we just cut leaves out of the cardboard for the base of our flowers and then we also hand cut petals to layer on top of those, adding a button in the center to make our flower. So as you've seen, cardboard is a fun way to add some style and texture to your pages. So the next time you want to add a touch of craft to a layout, think outside the box and reach for those cardboard accents.